And there has been a video released. A new video has been released that shows some of the most amazing UFO footage that has ever been shot. And it was uh, shot near Beaver, Utah, a remote area that is, as the crow flies, not too far from Area 51. Another thing I noticed about the footage as I was watching it and as it's been broke down, this thing is going so fast that it blurs almost into invisibility uh, towards the end of the shot. I mean, it, you can see the form. This is what's amazing about this thing. You can see the form coming in, and it, it, it's going in. Yeah, we're, we're, we're talking about it amongst ourselves here. It's going in like a like a what we would call a kind of a maneuver that would be seen with a bomber or something. It's coming in kind of sideways, and then it kind of levels off, and then, yeah, it banks off, and then it just kicks in, and when it kicks in, it goes so fast that it's like a blur. But it, 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 but that's what's interesting about it is you don't see this blur until it just swoops by. So you got this clear image of this thing, and, and you know, on, in normal speed, it's going so fast, you, you blink, you miss it. But then when you've slowed it down, it's still moving fast. It's still moving so fast when you slow it down that it's just so hard to believe that you were able to, you know, slow it down to the point where it, it's visible and, and it's clear. And I mean, there's no markings that I can see. And, and every time I see it, I, I'm just trying to figure out if I can make out wings or I can make out something else. But I just can't find that. I just can't. It, it's like something that I've never seen before. I got to tell you, it makes for one of the most vivid and clear shots of a fast-moving flying object. Now, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to put this video back on Facebook so people can get a, a, a look at it. And then we have a special treat for everybody. Uh, we're going to bring on the videographer uh, of this remarkable UFO to explain how they got the footage and, and what it is that they think it is or, or maybe if they've had any conclusions or anyone talking about it. Sam Shortex coming up on Ground Zero, and we're going to be talking with him about this um, amazing UFO footage that was shot near Beaver, Utah in 2016. Tonight we have Sam Shortek with us, of course, a videographer, uh, amazing footage. We just posted it on Facebook. If you go to facebook.com slash Ground Zero Radio, I pasted it last night up there because I was blown away by it. A uh, number of people, of course, leaving it up for scrutiny, saying, oh, CGI, I can tell it's CGI or whatever. No, it, it's it's just amazing how fast it was moving. And you're hearing it tonight from the guy who caught it with a, a drone right here on Ground Zero. It was sighted over rural Utah, a place called Beaver, which is just a little bit above St. George, maybe I'd say as the crow flies, about an hour, maybe two hours from Area 51. But of course, a lot quicker if you're flying one of those scary UAPs. The man has some of the most remarkable unidentified aerial phenomena, phenomena footage you'll ever catch. It was uh, taken in 2016, was just recently released. Sam, welcome to Ground Zero. Hey, Clyde. Thanks for having me on. I'm glad to have you on, man. I mean, I was listening to your story. Uh, you appeared on another show. It wasn't even a UFO or paranormal show or anything like that. It was just another morning show. Uh, this video was released. It was from 2016. Tell me the background of this UFO, or tell me the background of what you were doing and how you got this. I, I can tell you, probably some of the best uh, clear footage of a UFO to date. Yeah, I mean, you you basically nailed it with your intro. We uh, we were in Beaver, Utah, doing a documentary on a family that lives in the area, and as part of these documentaries, we um, you know just kind of seek out. Uh, epic landscapes to 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 shoot and include in these films, um, and you know we shoot hours and hours and hours of this footage and that, that landscape was kind of too beautiful to pass up. So we launched a drone, um, shot a little bit of footage, didn't, didn't really notice anything strange or anything weird about it. Went back to the hotel that night and like we do every night uh, after we shoot, just kind of quickly scrub through the footage and that little moment uh, caught our eye. So we just kind of, zoomed in on it, broke it down uh, a bunch. But it, the only other thing I'll say about the clip itself, uh, going back to, to your point about how, how it's so blurry, you know, we were even shooting that footage at 60 frames a second. So when you're shooting at 60 frames a second, you have mm -hmm. double the amount of frames. And mm -hmm. so theoretically, you know, it, it should be cleaner, it should be crisper than uh, just shooting something at, at uh, 23.98. So we had double the frames, and even then it's still... It's still blurring. Which it's is well. Amazing. Let, let's just say this: you know, the blur comes from the passing. It, it comes. It comes from passing by so quickly. But see, what you have is a clear pick 
that goes all the way up to point of crossing and then bam, it goes so fast that it blurs out. And I don't think anyone, you know, if they're looking at this can say that's not a, a damn good shot of a UFO, a damn good shot of some experimental aircraft that was flying over in the corridor near, near Area 51. It's amazing. And what's really interesting about this craft or whatever it is that's flying over, it's the way uh, the, the the aerial maneuvering or the aerodynamics of it and how it flies in sideways and then shoots, kind of levels off and shoots away. Uh, it doesn't really look like anything conventional, at least something that we're aware of, and it's moving super fast. Yeah, yeah, and, uh, and exactly. I mean, the way it kind of travels down the valley, it, it makes a hard turn and continues straight. And again, the amazing thing to me is that, you know, I was standing right there. I was standing in that field and didn't hear, didn't see anything. So um, that that's the most unbelievable part to me, you know, just being right there and not noticing anything, but then seeing this in the footage later on it was it was jaw dropping so there was, there was no sonic boom or anything like that when it went through you didn't even you didn't even sense it there was absolutely nothing i mean it was totally quiet so we we have had a lot of people that have you know doubted it and said that you know this is cgi but um i will say that we're actually going to be releasing the raw footage uh tomorrow just to show that it's been totally unaltered so where, where will it be released this is the footage before the footage right yeah so we'll be exactly so we'll be uh posting that to the same youtube channel okay so it'll be on that youtube channel we have we'll be watching for that and just to show that there's no control footage or anything going on with it so, so and and what is the name of the channel we're going to release the, the the footage before uh the appearance of this ufo yep it'll be released to uh brian hanley's YouTube channel that's B R I A N Hanley H A N L E Y, mm -hmm. and he was he's the uh, the journalist that we originally broke the uh, broke the footage to provided it to. And so. and he does what a, a podcast? He does a, a, a he's a news reporter. Who is he? He is a freelance uh, news reporter, and uh, he also breaks uh, stories on his own personal YouTube channel. Okay, fantastic, because uh, that's where I got that, got it. I can't remember how I stumbled upon it, but I'm damn happy that yeah. I did, uh, because uh, I, I, I just wanted to, especially with all of the uh, the things that are going on right now with the fast radio bursts, there have been, uh, I don't know if you've heard of the drone reports uh, over England right now, bright lights and booms in Salt Lake City, bright lights and booms on the East Coast, I mean, something is happening where these things are being seen. Either they're testing weapons or they're testing new weapons here over over the United States, or Russia's testing new weapons over the United States, or China's testing new weapons over the United States. And that's what uh, I'm wondering if that's what you caught, maybe some sort of a missile, some sort of a, a, a new weapon, some sort of hypersonic weapon. Or, once again, since it's something we've never seen before, something that certainly defies all the speed records I've ever seen. You could have something that's a bona fide extraterrestrial aircraft, and that's something that, uh, you know, for those who are looking for a clear shot, Sam has it for you. Talking about this uh, remarkable footage uh, that has been shot. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, some, some footage that was actually from a drone. They were doing some B-roll for, uh, well, they saw it was great land, great, great view, mountainous view with clouds, and, and there's sagebrush everywhere. Uh, and of course, uh, Sam is part of a, uh, a, a company based out of Austin called Rabbit Foot Studios. And, uh, they were out just doing some B-roll. They said they're going to release some more footage to show that they weren't just waiting for a miracle to happen. They were just out there doing their thing. Did you have any, um, you know, being that, uh, you shot it in Beaver, Utah, and I wanted to tell you, I mean, I, I'm originally from Utah. Um, I, um, my family actually, most of my family lives in that area, not really Beaver, but they live in St. George and they live in Cedar City area. And, uh, some of them, of course, live in Salt Lake City, Provo and all those areas. But, uh, Beaver and, uh, St. George and all those places are considered a corridor for strange activity. And the reason why is because it's situated near the, uh, Nevada test sites of the, the nuclear weapons. And of course, Area 51 is not too far away, literally. I mean, when you're thinking about the speed of that aircraft, whatever it was, uh, Area 51 is not too far away. Uh, we're looking at maybe like an hour's drive, uh, maybe even more, maybe two hours drive to Las Vegas from there. And I know that, uh, mm -hmm. and I know that, you know, you'd make the turn off there near Mesquite or you make the turn off there just before Las Vegas and you're right there in Rachel near Area 51, and this is why I'm I'm really, uh, you know, I, I'd be 
you know, a little curious as to whether or not somebody may have interest in this uh, that would be, I don't know, involved with the government, maybe Air Force. I mean, have you been contacted by like the Mutual UFO Network or anyone else? No, I haven't, haven't been contacted by anybody in the government or any anything like that. And honestly, like that was another reason for us not wanting to put, put it out there was just because I wasn't yeah, a, a certain paranoia level of not trying to, you know, uh, I said in the in the YouTube video, but, you know, we we there's there was the thought, you know, we probably shot something, filmed something that we that we probably shouldn't have, you know, that right. didn't wasn't intended to be filmed. And uh, really kind of uh, for me personally, the paranoia level of not really wanting to deal with that kind of, you know, hey, if you ignore it, it'll, maybe it'll go away. Um, mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, I think, you know, with all uh, everything that's that's being released now and uh, the current, you know, climate for it is kind of just the right time. So, um, I mean, we'll see what happens in the, in the next couple of days. I hope I don't get contacted. 